Fanny Lala. Fanny Lala Lane. Fanny Lala Nine. <laughs> Who's never had acne? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Not you. <laughs> I am having acne right now myself. You can't see that because I disguised it under foundation, but yeah. I wanted to talk to you guys about another acne video. This is a face mask for clear skin. Basically the three ones that I use. I chose purposely not to mention exfoliating mask, just clay mask or powder like mask. Another video will maybe be dedicated to exfoliating masks that are good for acne as well. By the way, I hope you're doing good. I hope you've been having a great week and everyone around you is fine and let's get into it so first of all i'm gonna review the teeny detox mask i actually already mentioned i think this one in my green tea video a, a video that was a real flop i mean a lot of my videos are <laughs> i i think go to this one the most when i have a pimple and this one retails for 29 <laughs> sorry i'm looking at my notes $29.99 dollars. I don't want to say anything wrong. I've actually had it for a while. I still have a lot of it as you can see. This product is actually a really nice blend of interesting ingredients. For the category of ingredients that work on your acne, which is the thing that's most interesting to us, we have the bentonite clay. Bentonite clay actually absorbs the oils, basically your sebum. It limits the production of blackheads, which are pimples to be. It also has kaolin clay, Clay. kaolin clay also absorbs your oils and it minimizes your pores it also has matcha green tea and matcha green tea also has an oil control type of function but it also is an antioxidant anti-aging anti-inflammation it's also soothing it has plenty of benefits so if you want to learn more about that go watch the green tea video okay and it also is so great because unlike other clay masks that i tend to not really like because it strip your skin this mask has ingredients that are made to make it more hydrating less stripping first of all aloe vera is the first ingredient in my mask we're gonna see that later it's not really the official list of ingredients now but in my mask on my list aloe vera is the first ingredient aloe vera is actually a humectant it gives moisture hydration not really a lot if you've seen my aloe vera video you know i've made a lot of videos like there's a lot of subjects that are probably mentioned but aloe vera does bring some hydration this mask also contains glycerin which is the hydration or moisturizing ingredient that we find in most moisturizers or anything moisturizing along with hyaluronic acid there's also almond oil to nourish the skin be careful almond oil or any oils do not hydrate do not moisturize they just nourish and there's vitamin e it's an anti-aging antioxidant and this is the molecule that's found in most oils so we know this is also nourishing then the rest of the ingredients are basically just texture and stability ingredients like preservatives there's two essences which are basically essential oils there's a green tea essential oil and a lemongrass essential oil damn essential oil and two dyes a yellow and a green one but the dyes are the last ingredients the two last ones so you know we we can be okay with it it's the only negative of this mask for me because i don't see the point of having two essential oils or two dyes in a mask this thing is a mask like come on it's a wash off product that you're gonna leave on your skin for 10 to 15 minutes and then it's gone literally and it might sting a little bit it might kind of like smell a lot in the first minute or two but then it disappears you know and it's fine so yeah as i mentioned a little earlier i found out that the detox mask ingredient list that i have it's different a little bit than on the website so the one that they are commercializing right now this mask was sent to me by timmy it was in beginning of 2021 a year later they reformulated it kind of just changed a little thing or two in the formula nothing like harmful so they replaced the first ingredient by water so it was aloe vera juice now it's water but they put aloe vera still um in the formula it's just 
further down the list now maybe the aloe vera was making the texture weird i don't know you know it's not always bad choices and they have removed a texture enhancer if they removed it that means it wasn't necessary and they removed the yellow dye so this is a good point as well so making this mask 100 percent vegan cruelty free and without artificial preservatives without artificial fragrance and artificial coloring artificial fragrance just for the quick note is just undisclosed fragrance fragrance or perfume in the product when it's essential oils they say it's natural fragrance so on to the second mask that i like using when i have a spot or two or more <laughs> it's another teamy mask it's the beauty mask don't ask me if teamy was sponsoring me or they don't even know about this video actually i'm just sharing you the mask that i use this time it retails for 36 dollars and this time also the ingredient list has not changed between the one that i have and the one that is sold currently on the website for the ingredients that are targeting acne it also has kaolin clay we know how it works it absorbs your oils and minimizes your pores it also has zinc oxide zinc oxide is a common uv filter in sunscreen it's also an ingredient that works good at targeting acne and Another ingredient that is really good for acne in this formula is MSM. I'm not gonna give you the whole name, <laughs> I don't know it. It's actually the purest form of sulfur and sulfur is one of the most essential minerals to life because it helps regenerate the cells that you produce and regenerating cells on your skin is really important when you have acne. This is called the beauty mineral or the healing mineral because of this benefit. So basically it also has anti-inflammatory properties and it helps to make the skin clear there's also other ingredients in this mask that keep the mask not as stripping as other clay masks this time we again have kind of the same ingredients as the detox mask we have aloe vera juice as the first ingredient for real this time this time it stayed the first we have almond oil glycerin and vitamin e and then you have other interesting ingredients that i wanted to mention still because i think they are really interesting interesting one of them is the butterfly pea flower extract which basically makes it blue so now you're gonna tell me why do i need it to be blue like it's just a mask come on but actually it's called the blue tea because it's an antioxidant it's from a plant you can make herbal teas with that actually it, it's even real cute and i would like to get myself some because I want to make some cute lattes with that but the butterfly pea flower extract actually serves a purpose in this mask other than just making it a little blue it's antioxidant and anti wrinkles then there is ultramarine blue which is actually a natural blue dye so i think this is what's making the mask really blue like the blue tea extract makes it blue but i think they they used a blue dye to make it even more like bright just like real vigorously blue you know <laughs> there is two preservatives in this mask a texture enhancer and then lastly again we have two essential oils i still don't understand to this day why they chose to put this in this formula but girl i know there's uh the narrowly <laughs> essential oil which is understandable because it's a flower essential oil so of course you would like to smell like flower you know but there's a cabernet essential oil it sounds french right so of course yeah it's a wine it's a red wine so you want to smell like wine <laughs> i used it the other day and i barely noticed it i think it was just a deal of the first time it's just like the detox mask i was really like triggered by the essential oils at first but then i used it again a long time after not using them and and I was like, actually, why did I even think that was that bad? You know, it's, it's okay. I like that this mask is actually more focused on an overall improved beauty than just drying out your pimples. You know, it's made with hydrating ingredients. You know, it's made with the blue tea extract that is really interesting. The MSM that is not present in the detox mask. It's an interesting formula. However, for both teaming masks, I have a problem with their recommendations that they put on the packaging. And on the website they say use one to four times weekly as needed i don't recommend using clay masks 
one to four times a week. They're still pretty potentially drying to your skin. Twice a week is the most that I would recommend if you have acne prone skin. If you have just oily skin, you can use it just once a week, especially if you're letting it dry on your face. Because when I do clay masks now, I basically spritz water on my face as I'm doing the mask so I don't let it dry. I never let it dry and I just found that it makes my skin never feel tight, never feel dried. But if you're letting them dry to get the full effect of absorbing your oils, you definitely don't want to use that four times a week. So next we have another mask. It's literally coming in the form of just a powder and then you have to mix it with water to make it a paste and that creates the mask. So it's a single ingredient. I love when it's just a single ingredient. It's also pretty limited in like the goodness it can offer. You don't have the blend of interesting ingredients, but at least you know what's in there, where it comes from, you know what it's gonna do to your skin, and you know it's not gonna be harmful, you know? So you're safe. We have 100% Tanaka powder, which is basically bark wood powder. It's a South Asian tradition to use this mask on your face, especially in Myanmar, also called Burma, if you don't know. So basically women there use this mask in very thin, very thin layers on their skin. I'm gonna tell you exactly, especially just here, here, a little bit on the nose maybe, a little bit on the chin maybe. They don't do a full face of the mask, they just like spot do it. It protects your skin from the sun. I think it's because it creates like a physical shield, you know, between your skin and the sun. And it's also helping their skin just stay clear and stay pretty beautiful and glowing. They actually wear it every day, especially village girls, village women, even above makeup. Like they have a full face of makeup just to create that sunscreen effect, I guess. And also to respect the tradition. I think it's really what they consider beauty in this country. Like they think a woman should have that. So onto the benefits. Bark powder evens out your skin, it evens out your texture, and it deeply cleanses your skin and it calms your skin down. It's actually really not harmful because it's just a wood powder and it's gonna detoxify your skin. Hence why it's great for acne. And there's a scientific reason why bark powder or also tanaka powder is good for your skin. It's because it has coumarin, <laughs> coumarin, I don't know. It's a powerful antioxidant that's found in plants and that's derived from the amino acid phenylalanine, phenylal, phenylalanine, phenylalanine. <laughs> which is basically anti-aging in general. Most of the time when it's good for anti-aging, it's good for acne, to fight acne of course, because you fight external damaging effects of the environment. It also has arbutin. Yes, I'm sure you know of this because The Ordinary makes an arbutin serum, <laughs> alpha arbutin. Actually, alpha arbutin means that it's synthetically made and beta arbutin means that it's naturally sourced. So it's literally from a plant. This one, of course, is beta arbutin, a little less potent, of course, than alpha arbutin, and it evens out the skin. It's a brightening agent, so it's good for hyperpigmentation, notably acne scars. It improves the glow in your skin. Finally, there is marmosin, and marmosin has anti-aging benefits. There is no harm in using this mask every day in thin layers on your skin, especially if you're not doing the whole face, because Burmese women have been doing this for centuries or I don't know maybe even longer than that. If you really have acne you can spot treat it with thin layers of this Tanaka powder. Just don't do it on the whole face every day. Don't do it in thick layers every day. If you want to use this mask as a typical acne clear skin mask, you can do this once a week or twice a week. As a more like intense treatment, do thicker paste and all your face. So I found that the perfect dosage to make this runny consistency is two spoons of the powder and three spoons of water. Uh, when I'm talking about spoons, I'm mentioning the mask kit that is sold separately at $6.99. I love this mask 
must because it's really earthy one single ingredient it's good to have that sometimes you know i love my skincare formulations honestly i love them more than diy products but having one in your whole collection honestly doesn't hurt and it's kind of fun to do also a reason why i love it is because it has no scent on uh, like no essential oils it's really harmless because it's not like a clay you know it calms your skin like it's not going to leave you red or going to leave you stripped of your oils it heals you know and i think that's why you really could be safe using it every day for example me i would just use it here and here <laughs> just the, the problem areas you know actually i'm gonna do that tonight <laughs> what a good idea laura <laughs> thank you uh for watching <laughs> I'm gonna see you in the next video. Leave a comment down below to tell me if you've tried any of these three masks and which one you would like to try more. Of course, if this video was helpful to you and how it was helpful so I can just get better or continue doing what I'm doing. Have a blessed week. Love you guys. Bisous.